Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here for today's video we are decorating the living room for fall. Here's a quick view of my living room currently and then here's Kylo of course he will be joining me for this video. Here are all the pillows that I am bringing out for fall. You guys fall is my favorite time of the year and I love all of the colors that fall is you know the browns the neutrals the oranges even the dark burgundies i love it here's the new pillow that i got this year i thought it was just so perfect for my living room to bring in those warm cozy vibes i always have said before pillows are the easiest and honestly the cheapest way to bring in those fall colors into your home if you don't want to spend a lot on decor if you don't want to spend a whole lot on just fall decorating Changing out your pillow covers is a great way to bring in fall in your living room. For the throw blankets, I will be starting with this cozy one. I think I got this last year for Christmas, so this is a good transition blanket. It's just a really pretty cream, almost like grayish color, but I do love how it is two-sided. So one side is super soft, super cozy, and the other side is a little more like that Sherpa kind of you know, just that texture. I like how it has two different textures. And then for the other throw blanket, I have this pretty knitted brown one with the tassels. I love it so much. I'm not going to lie. I actually have this out all year round because the color is just so pretty and I love it so much, but it is good for, you know, fall with that brown color as well as throughout the year. I am taking this pumpkin pillow, you guys. It is not a fall clean and decorate with me without a pumpkin pillow. This one I got from Target this year. I thought it was such a pretty color. I love the cream. I know they had other colors, but I ended up going with this cream Sherpa color just because it does go with the other pillows in my living room. taking my pumpkin counter spray and I am wiping down my coffee table it definitely needs a good wipe down my kiddos I think there was like a barbecue sauce on it or something you could see it right there it's like a darkish red brown color so we're gonna wipe that off you guys we don't want that there once this is all wiped down and clean we can add some fall decor to this table Now this tray was actually from my spring decor and I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I was going to tuck it away for next year. One of you guys said that it's totally perfect for fall. I agree. I'm going to leave it out this year. I am pairing it with this really pretty rustic little pot from Walmart and I put some really pretty fall tan uh, stems inside. Next I am taking this pumpkin. I actually love the sparkles. I think it's really subtle and cute and I'm putting it right next to that vase and then I am taking this saucer that I got from Walmart and I am pairing it with this little candle. You guys, how pretty is this candle? I thought it was so cute. I love the color. It smells so good. So I am just putting the saucer down and then I'm putting the candle on top of it. Thank you. 
I picked up this golden candle snuffer a good few months ago when I was out thrift shopping. I love the warm gold color and I think it adds just a nice little pop of decor. If you stop by TJ Maxx anytime soon, make sure to see if they have these sand and fog room sprays. I did get one for summer and it smelled like, I think, beach house. It smelled so good. This one is for fall. It's Harvest Pumpkin. They're so cheap, you guys, and it makes the room smell so amazing. I actually might transition this into Christmas as well because it has a such a strong cinnamon flavor that I'm like, oh, this would be good for Christmas too. I picked up some taper candles for my candle holders that I hung on the wall with you guys either last video or the video before that I cannot remember but I hung them on the wall I thought this color was so pretty and I thought it was perfect for fall I'm gonna take down these old pink ones and I'm gonna put up these brown taper candles I noticed that my underneath my TV on my TV stand, it was looking a little bare. I thought it could use some nice garland. I didn't want to add too much decor. I know over the years, it's funny because I actually was watching some of my old fall clean and decorate with me videos. And I don't know what I was thinking because there's some videos where I'm like, Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> so it's, it's funny how you kind of evolve and change throughout the years with decorating. I'm just kind of keeping it simple this year with some nice, pretty fall garland. I think there's a lot of times when, you know, bigger, larger statement pieces make such a big difference compared to those small, tiny little knickknacks stuffed into, you know, the corner. And yeah, it's just, it looks better this way, you guys. So I'm taking two long pieces of garland because one was not not enough and I think it just adds such pretty colors underneath my TV. about this garland now I love it I think it's so pretty I love the colors it is so hard to manipulate so this took me so long to kind of fluff up the branches get it to where I wanted it because I was combining two different pieces together so one looked on one side it wasn't even with the other you know what I mean so definitely took me some bit to get it to where I wanted it to be but eventually I did so that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next fall clean and decorate with me bedroom edition bye guys